Well, over the summer, lots of kids are required to spend time reading. But if you notice your child struggling and having a hard time completing the task, maybe there's something else going on. Welcome this morning. Hallie Rojeski, the head of the John Crosland School, a school for students with learning differences. She's here to talk about a unique resource to help your children. Hallie, good morning. Thanks for being mm -hmm. here today. Thank you for having me. Uh, how big are, of a problem are learning differences? Things like dyslexia. Right. In um, the U.S., research shows that about one in five students either has a learning difference or an attentional issue. So it's more common than most people think, and this is also something that most kids aren't just going to grow out of. Right. Okay, what type of uh, size should parents be looking for to, to notice if their kids maybe have some type of learning? So there's a lot of different ways. If you're looking at more dyslexia, it's students having trouble actually decoding the words. So if your child is um, guessing at words that aren't even close to the meaning, um, where reading is painful, they're trying to avoid reading, um, as well as it could also be fluency. The speed, it's not natural, it doesn't sound, you know, it's word for word, or it could just be they're not understanding what they're reading. Mm -hmm. So the learning difference or mm -hmm. language-based disability could be a wide Wide variety of different you know manifestations but mm -hmm. I think it's more of a a lot of times is the child enjoying it and are they having success with the task at hand those are things mm. to look for as a parent, mm -hmm. right? And notice if your child is really avoiding reading, coming up with excuses, right. things like that. Um, you're offering free reading screenings at the school. Why is that so important? Why is that needed? I think a lot of parents um, have questions and concerns and we're happy to be that second opinion. We want it to be free just because we think any family in Charlotte, um, some families, you know, may avoid, you know, further testing that may be very expensive, but mm -hmm. it's just, you know, let's have someone else look um, at the John Crossland School, our teachers, um, a lot of our students, since they come sometimes with dyslexia, are trained mm. as Orton Gillingham instructors. So we want someone that really has a background to spend, you know, 30 minutes with a child and sometimes just be able to give you a little bit of direction. Mm. But you also offer the reading testing too. That's a little bit, maybe a little bit different, is it? Um, we don't do formal um, true assessments to the point of like a psychologist would to diagnose a child. However, we will do that the screening and then with our children, we progress monitor to make sure progress is being made at the right, the right type of trend. And this is. Really really free? This yes, is free it's for really people. free. Okay. All you have to do is um, sign mm. up. Um, we reserve the second Tuesday of every month for this service so that we kind of clear schedules, make sure that we can um, accommodate you. Um, however, you know, just call us, set us an appointment. But yes, it is free. We also immediately meet with the parent face-to-face -face and give our mm. recommendations, some of which are free options, other of which would be these are some resources in Charlotte we'd love for you to check out. Which, by the way, is so helpful, I think, to normalize it for parents. You know, I think there's probably a lot of fear, mm -hmm. and so sometimes it's easy to pretend like things aren't really happening mm -hmm. because they're afraid but coming to right. somewhere like the John Crossland school where you say we see this all the time right. and there really is help for your child right. it's certainly reassuring for moms and dads who are good mm -hmm. candidates for for testing so right now I think um, change children ages 5 through 10 because they've already had some instruction in the area. Um, a lot of times schools stop teaching children how to read around second grade um, so I think if um, if you're concerned, as well as a lot of times, um, homeschool families really benefit from this as well. Just knowing that the parent may be the teacher, that's also nice to have um, someone else kind of interact with your child. And even if it's just every year you want to sign up, we encourage that. All right, you also have a special project. You have a sensory room that you're going to be offering. What is that? We, are start, we got a grant from the Longleaf Fund, and we're super excited to offer a sensory room for students that may have sensory processing issues. Um, the room will have two areas. One will be more of an activity area, and the other will be calming um, with kind of dim lighting. They can move. Oh, okay. They can relax. Um, but I think it's something that we're going to open up and have like a grand opening, if you will, um, in September to really be able to share what we're doing for the students at the school. Oh, I think that's great. That is really great, Hallie. Thank you so much. Check out johncrosslandschool.org for more information, johncrosslandschool.org. We thank you for your time. Indeed, thank, thank you, you very much.